Uh, okay, so let's start. I'm gonna open my terminal. So let's create. Let's create my new John folder and go to that folder. And uh, okay, let's create our first project. Web API. <coughs> Web API use controllers and that's it let's go back to the let's open that to visual visual studio okay Good. Based on the documentation, the first thing that we need to do is to install the package or the dependency for this project or for for this um, for this um, sample application. So let's just copy this. Where is that? Where is that? <coughs> okay, this one. Hey, what's happening? Okay. Let's just wait this. Okay, done. Next, we need to update our um, our app settings JSON. So let's update this. <coughs> let's create or let's add um, let's add AI. Then inside of this AI, let's add open AI. Let's add um, <coughs> an I and inside let's add API key. API key. Okay. <coughs> okay. I'm gonna update this with uh, the AP, API key. Where uh, come? Uh, I'm gonna get the API key from my OpenAI account, so which I will not. I will not show you guys, so I'm gonna update that later. I'm gonna pause this uh, recording. Okay, so app settings is now updated. So the next thing that I need to do, or uh, that that you need to do, or that we need to do, is to add this builder services and. Add kernel. Okay. Next, need to add this builder service that add open open um open i a i chat completion chat completion. <coughs> And I need to import the using statement. Um, we need two parameter here. Parameters here. The first one is the model. Um, the um, the AI model here. We need to um, to. to to add the model, um, yeah, the AI, AI model here. So I think that the cheapest one to use is uh, GPT uh, three point five turbo. If that, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is 
this is the um, this is the cheapest one you can use uh, uh, the other model um, model type if you want but for the sake of this demo I'm gonna use this second parameter or arguments is the connection string or yeah the uh, the, the value that I have set inside my app setting so and that is the configuration value is yeah configuration if you remember i uh i wrote ai then under ai is open ai and then api key yeah, that's the that is the uh, that is the structure of my JSON config. Okay, I think that's it for this program. That CS is it? Yeah. Okay, that is everything I need. Now we need to um to up our controller. So first thing first, we don't need this. And um, let's and uh, yeah, we need to update this to something uh, like this. Let's make this a sync task, and let's uh, let's return i action result and let's okay let's check or let's use the kernel okay then Let's change this return equals. Let's remove this. <coughs> remove, remove everything. Assault. Mm, let's take this. No. And uh, let's add the variable temperature. Temperature. Then, um, random. Uh, shared. Actually, this one. Let's, let's just use this. <coughs> okay, then let's just assign this here. I did. Uh, I, I. I've added this new uh, variable so that I can use this again. So let's. Change this to um, await. To await. <coughs> Wait, kernel. Yeah, kernel. That. Mm, I think it's uh, invoke a sync. Invoke from. Yeah, a sync. And this should be string and uh, the message. So, yeah. <clears throat> what do we? What can I put here? <clears throat> um, let's say. Uh, uh, let's say. Say something. 
about this temperature temperature then use uh, the temp I'm not sure if it's readable on your side but let me just make the text bigger temperature okay I think that's it then let's try to return this result okay I think that's everything I need or that's everything we need as of the moment so let's try to run this now uh, that not run Swagger. So, let's try. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the prompt result is being written here because I sent a question to uh, to OpenAI and it returns something here. Okay, that's the simple uh, example. So let's try to add another method. So let's just uh, try to let's try to add post post method post and let's name this as ask me ask me also. And uh, let's remove this. Just copy this. And uh, yeah, make a question. Add this parameter here. And put it here question okay question I think that's it post ask me so let's try to run that again let's close this for now Dot net run <coughs> Good. Good. Swagger. Fuck. Okay, post. <coughs> Let's try this. Uh, who is? <laughs> who is Ryan? <laughs> Decent. Ryan, you know Decent. I'm just curious about my name. So I execute. <coughs> uh, open AI, AI don't know me. Let's try another one. <laughs> Who is learn with John? Okay. OpenAI doesn't know learn with John either. So, <laughs> uh, what is that net? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, it returns a result based on the OpenAI uh, model or information or data. So that's how simple. 
uh, that's how easier to to create an AI application nowadays. So you can just uh, check this. Uh, you can just check this semantic kernel. It's really easy to to use uh, in your project if you are really very particular with the application so you can just use this it's easier you can yeah just visit this microsoft microsoft learn and yeah you will see one last try um where can i get free burger <laughs> okay <laughs> That's all. Enjoy, guys. Uh, yeah, have a nice day. Bye.